Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is hydrocarbons versus functionalized hydrocarbons. All right, so let's just review what a hydrocarbon is. Well, it's really any molecule that consists of purely carbons and hydrogens, which the name kind of implies. So remember that carbon wants to have four bonds at all times. So after we have our carbon chain, we have to assign the appropriate number of hydrogens based on how many bonds it already has. So for instance, this carbon already has two bonds to the other carbons, so it can only have two more bonds, so two hydrogens. This one's on the end, it can have three. This happens to be butane. So anything that has just carbons and hydrogens is a hydrocarbon. We can also draw these in our stick form. So here's cyclohexane. Here's some other branched guys. Um, and really anything with this structure, again, is going to be a hydrocarbon. Now, functionalized hydrocarbons are when we take this and we add something else to it that's not a carbon or a hydrocarbon. And so in organic chemistry, we have a bunch of different common functional groups, and all of these really count as functionalized hydrocarbons. So if we have our typical hydrocarbon, cyclohexane, and we just add an OH, we functionalized it. So now it's a functionalized hydrocarbon. It has this alcohol group on it. And there's a bunch of different functional groups. We can have a carboxylic acid, still hydrocarbon plus extra stuff. We can have an amine. We can have a break in the carbon chain, a peroxide. And really, there's just hundreds of different functional groups that we can add. Uh, so, only carbons and hydrogens, hydrocarbon, uh, hydrogens and carbons mostly, plus some extra stuff, functionalized carbons, uh, hydrocarbons. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Hydrocarbons versus Functionalized Hydrocarbons.